Hi, my name is Kazim, and on today's podcast, we'll be talking about how right or wrong is reality. So, um, first of all, my name is Kazim Kodri again, and the title of this podcast is Rant Out My Head. So, um, what the podcast simply is for is to talk about topics that I feel are closer to me, so topics that I, I was probably thinking of or something that happened during the week about me or visually something that happened around the world that relates to me so um I, i'm not sure i can possibly cover every topic that relates to me but i will try my best as much as possible to be able to um talk about these things as i see them fit also everything i say on this podcast um can change because they are my opinions at this moment based on the amount of information i have and conviction i have so in case in the future when i have better information or i'm better convinced on the issue i might actually change my opinion concerning it that said and also um the podcast will run for once each week and would have some series coming up next so back to the topic right and wrong can right and wrong be related so you ask yourself this first question from one can right and wrong be related so can i be right and at the same time be wrong or can i be wrong and at the same time be right because this is should i say a very debatable topic so first of all if we consider each factor to our daily life there are things we do that we feel is actually right and we um we get a different perspective towards that thing and we see that very wrong so um just like how teenagers let's go back to like our teenagers so back then when i was a teenager there were so many things i was doing then and i felt it was right like i, I really can't start listing out things down but i did so many things back then feeling it was right and some of them not actually agreeing it was right but find, finding a way to justify it to be right you understand it's, you know when you take make that decision or you want to take that decision and you're like you're not sure if it's actually right but you want to find a way to justify it so I, i've had that moment in my life when i was feeling that way you get and there was always someone always telling me this is wrong and it's interesting especially when someone is there to tell you it's actually wrong because it's like okay what's your concern because I feel this thing is right that's why i'm doing it so uh, why you think it's wrong so there might be debate or i might not even listen to the press because i i think i'm a bit stubborn so it's hard for me to actually take people's uh, opinion into context but when i do i actually digest it you understand so sometimes i think it's this person's fault not passing information right to me and sometimes i just feel i'm too um fixated to actually listen to the person's opinion so back to it right and wrong can it be relative i actually believe that it can be very relative based on some factors so the first factor that can make right and wrong relative is information so earlier when i started i told you that my opinions can change based on the kind of information i get about that opinion later in the future so if um let us say okay i see people smoking around me and i'm like okay i want to start smoking I feel it's right because everybody's doing it around me. So it's like how a child, whenever a child is growing up and sees people do things, the child copies these things. That's how they build their own habits. So if you see people that are smoking and you smoke, in your own mindset, it's actually right at that moment because you feel everybody's doing it. So it's just like how democracy works. Majority carries the vote. So the majority of people are doing it, it means it's right. That's the way we think normally. Or if we see someone that we hold up to higher esteem doing it we feel it's right so but when we get into um school so let me say secondary school and we're taught on how um smoking can kill our lungs probably cause cancer and have negative effects even on our environment and people around us so i was able to tell okay it is wrong to smoke because of these factors that i got from that information so information has a way of making right and wrong actually have its own balance so i don't just say information adequate information because 
interestingly i might know that smoking is bad because when someone takes the first puff you cough <laughs> for almost everything that makes you cough is not actually good at that moment let me not say everything almost everything or that makes you feel pain in your chest or the heat in your body sometimes you no know, not every time because that sometimes means it's so hot food that it's actually so good for everybody or this I, I think i read somewhere that it's not really good for you to eat food when they are very hot because it has some effect in your body but still almost every time that it happens you feel this um heat inside of you but w- one of the reasons why people smoke is for the high to get their minds off things probably their weather many reasons i, I always say okay that people that initiate things they might have the best and most justifiable reason to initiate that thing at that moment but people that copy it sometimes don't really have enough information to be able to justify what they are actually covering because it's like um about the whole sagging of the thing so it started back in the prison because they were not provided with belt kind of that's the information i got sorry so i, I would really love, like love to know if that part is 100 percent correct or true in fact but they weren't given belt so they felt okay let's just start our trousers and walk like that because they have no choice they can't always hold their trousers up every time so sagging started from there but people who copied sagging felt and took it for fashion or for should i say rank in the street so how well you sag how well people on the street respect you so that's and i is and i think i'm giving too many um examples or references to the wrong part so let me give examples on the right part so um so let's think <laughs> i really have to think about this so okay let's just say going to school now now going to school is very right but going to school for the wrong reason makes it wrong this get this point very well because i can go to school for um i don't know become a programmer let's assume and i can also go to school because all my friends are going to school and they want to become doctors and also i felt okay let me go become a doctor now i'm going to school for a whole for the wrong reasons which indirectly makes going to school wrong <laughs> i start to correct it at this part because it's becoming a bit more controversial you get but if you get my point going to school is actually right but when you start going to school for the wrong reasons it eventually makes it wrong so it's just like how they say do the right thing at the right time so if you don't do the you can do the right thing at the wrong time then makes that right thing wrong like how um i am one of my pastors used to say if she hires you and you are praying or you are speaking in tongues as a christian you're speaking in tongues when you should be attending to customers so let's assume she hired you as a front desk officer and you are speaking in tongues when your customers are working not saying speaking in tongues is wrong but at that moment it is wrong because i hired you to attend to these customers not saying you shouldn't speak in tongues fine you can do it in your private time or in your head or below your voice after you have attended to the customers because that's why you are there in the first place you get you are there to actually attend to these customers definitely i understand you um you you have to have connection with god every time but in as much as you have to have connection with god every time you have to understand that there's a way there's a relation to the spiritual world and the physical world sorry i'm getting into the spiritual but you have to understand when to be able to mix both together because what if um my customer the customer that works in thinks you are mad and runs out that's bad pr for me bad customer service relation and it makes me lose money at that moment which is not why i started a business in the first place i started a business to make profit and solve problems so it's it's relative you, you get my point so you are doing the right thing it's right to speak in tongues but it is wrong to do it when you are supposed to be attending to a customer that's my balance in the whole thing so i would love to hear your opinion about this matter i know it sounds a bit controversial sure and um 
it might not really <laughs> meet you in the right way at the moment but i would really love to hear your opinion so anywhere you get this podcast please just drop a comment there i would love to read it and talk about this in the next um podcast thank you very much